In this video, we will provide a guide on how to use your data folder protector. By using this software, you will be able to protect your sensitive folder on the Windows operating system. This software uses three security methods, password protection, hidden attributes, and encryption. Even if someone manages to forcibly open the protected folder, the files inside will still be unreadable because they are encrypted until you remove the protection from this application. Therefore, it is very important to keep the password safe and you must not forget it. Or it's better to write it down. Alright, let's practice using it now. First, you need to download the file. The link is in the comment section. After the file is downloaded, you can install it. Just double click on the file. After that, we can accept the license terms. Just click next. Just click next in here. You can also create a desktop shortcut. But because this is for folder protection, it's better we don't create desktop shortcut. Just click next. Just click install after that. After that, we can launch the Where Data Folder Protector. But if you accidentally untick this, you can still open the Where Data Folder Protector by opening on the search file like this. Just type Where Data Folder Protector and you can click open. To start lock the folder, you can using this button. And you can unlock the folder by using this button. And your lock folder will note on the check lock here. So when you forget it, where is the folder that just have been locked? You can just tick the check lock here. Okay, in here, let's start lock the folder. For example, we have my video folder in here. In the my video folder, contain the mp4 file that can play like this. And we won't try to lock this folder or we can also lock this subfolder on the folder number two. For example, let's lock the root folder on the my video here. Just click lock folder and you can go to desktop and select the my video folder after that, click open and enter the password. It's very important, so you need to remember this password. For example, I'm using 123 like this and click OK after that. Folder successfully locked, hidden, and remove access. Just click OK. When you see, the my video is gone in here because this is the default configuration on Windows File Explorer. How to see the hidden items? Because if we want to unlock the folder, you can see the my videos is not there. Okay? So we need to using this view and so and tick the hidden items. So my video folder will showing in here. When you're trying to open this, it will access the night. Like we say, if someone can open this folder, this someone cannot open your file because it's encrypted. You need to unlock via this application. Just click unlock folder here. And select my video and click OK. Let's try if we are type the wrong password. And click OK. Wrong password or corrupted files. So we need to input the correct password. Click my video and click OK. OK, the password is 123 and click OK. Now, our folder is back again and we can open again. But sometimes, if you are using another computers, maybe there are little bit different configurations. When you lock the folder, OK, you can see, for example, I will lock this folder and click open and select open here. Then password 123 and click OK. You can see my folder is gone. Even if you're trying to checklist the hidden items on the desktop, you can see. Even if you checklist the show and hidden items, the folder cannot be found. How to solve this problem? Because if this condition, you cannot unlock the folder. You can see there. To resolve this, you can just go to the three dot icon here and select options and choose view 
Okay, after that, untick the hide protected operating system file. Just click yes. Okay, make sure this option is untick or uncheck. And click apply after that. Then you can click okay. After that, you can see the hidden folder will be show again. And also make sure in the view and show is checklist in here. Okay, once again, you can go to these three dot icons and select options and select view and untick hide protected operating system files. Okay, then you can click OK. After this configuration, this is just once. For the future, you don't need to do again for the hide operating system. Okay, just unlock the folder after that. Now type the correct password and click OK. Now our folder is back. How to encrypt or how to lock the subfolder like this? Okay, it's very easy. Just click lock folder. And for example, we on the desktop and select my video. We want to lock the folder 2 here. Just open the folder 2 like this and open again. After that, we can click this open button here. Just click this and type the password and click OK. Folder successfully lock, hidden, and remove the access. Okay, if the privacy is very important to you, you can also just untick the hidden items. So on the regular, your folder will not showing again. To unprotect them, you can just back the configuration like this and select unlock the folder. Select my video and select the folder number 2 and click OK. And type the password. So our folder is back again. And to remember where is folder have been locked, you can check this lock. By ticking this, we have just my video and folder number two that just we have locked. So when we forgot them, we can just see the lock data here. But if privacy is important to you, you can also clear the lock. Just click this and click OK. So you can just tick this and your lock is empty. But you must remember where is the location pad, the folder that you just locked. Because if the hidden items is untick, so when you already protected the folder number two, for example, you cannot see the folder number two. Okay, so it's better you let it the check lock here because you already have a password to protect it. And if you want to download this World Data Folder Protector, the links on comment section, you can just click the link and you can download these files. Any advice about this software? You can send it via our contacts or emails or any other comment section. Hope this video helpfully for you and thanks for watching.